Hold on, I'm going to the Iron Knight. Watch your head, Dave. This yeah, is to be good. Oh! Welcome to Flight Test. Today, we have a brand new tenant coming out in a big way. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is incredible! Alright friends, welcome to Flight Test. We have a fun, filled day for you guys today. We're going to be doing a lot of building, a lot of flying, and it's all around this guy right here. If you guys don't know, about a year ago, we released our FT Tenant. The FT Tenant is designed to go into schools for STEM programs, but it's also designed to give people an amazing experience getting into the hobby. It teaches people how to build, how to fly, and most importantly, how to design. So since a year ago, we've gotten a lot of tremendous feedback from both people and also teachers. Today's the day where we take all that feedback, we put it together, we re-release it out of a brand new material that we haven't even named yet. Now behind me, we got Michael, we got myself, and we got David. We have a 3D printed fuselage we'll be sharing with you. This tenant is going to be reimagined, reworked in a whole new way, and we can't wait to share it with you. We got a lot of work to do. So my plan is to make like a, I guess you could say like a 3D tenant. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the sport wing and I'm just making the aileron slightly bigger, so I have more authority. And I might see if I can do that with the elevator and rudder, but we have to see until I get there. So that's all I'm going for. That's a little overkill, I think. A little overkill. That's that's a pretty big rudder. Ready? I am. It's interesting. <laughs> All right, well, Michael basically took the stock sport setup and then he made his own tail feathers to just make a crazy 3D machine. He's going to take his crazy design, put it to the test. You ready? I am. <laughs> it looks stable. It is actually really stable. Are you I was kidding not me? not expecting that. How's the roll? I would say it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't crash. It's pretty windy today. We're basically getting our testing done today because tomorrow we're just gonna have a fun fly day. Take it out in the morning and have some fun. I can't believe you're hovering off a little APAC. All right. I brought out the Versicopter Slim. Normally, Michael's the one chasing. Today, we're gonna switch roles. He's gonna fly, I'm gonna chase. Hi. Okay. Hello. I'm ready I just to, tried to arm. I'm ready to be you. You ready to be me? <laughs> All right, let me get up in the air. Oh, wow. You ready? Uh, Yes. How am I doing? Just kidding. Start off slow for you. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my gosh. I haven't hit you yet. Sorry. This is so cool. Inverted has to have a little more speed. Honey. So don't worry, you guys will only see the best cuts. I think we should just like post like the raw footage of your flight. On flight test life? Yeah. There's a tree there, just so you know. Yeah. Okay. Yep, there it is. Jeez. You didn't hit me though. I didn't like, hit you? you? You bumped me, but I don't think I'm cut. I'm a little bit. Well, one way or another, we get to stress test the fuselage of the tenant, or we get to stress test the Versicopter. Awesome. That was great. All right, see one down. I'm gonna go back inside right now. We have the 3D printed model. We're gonna take up for a test flight. See how it flies here. Uh, I'll let you chase from now on. All right. All right. So I'm currently working on the sport wing. I'm gonna put this on our 3D printed tenant. And um, yeah, I've got one more piece that's still printing, which is a servo tray. And basically, it's a really cool little thing. This is the original one. I made some changes to it, but you put the aura in it, and your servos and everything mount right to it. You just slide it in, it clips in place, and you're all set. And the whole reason I'm doing a 3D printed tenant is just because schools do a lot of 3D printing too. And I wanted to kind of commingle the two together and give students a real good experience between both of them. All right, we're gonna take up the 3D printed tenant. Basically, this is the stock tail surface that you get on the normal tenant kit, and we have it available separately. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. We're gonna take it up for a spin, see how it behaves for the first time with the landing gear on. Here we go. Oh, that's fantastic. 
And we got a little bit more wind I'd like to test fly in the airplane. When you guys are learning to fly, make sure you go ahead and just uh, take a calmer day than this. All right. Hey, while I'm up high, let's do some aerobatics. Ready? Inverted. Oh, that's locked in. You know, I love your 3D aerobatic one, but I think the control surfaces are just perfectly balanced on the stock tune. <laughs> it definitely feels more like a, uh, a sportier experience. It's probably with a sleeker airfoil too. But it slows down nice too. There it is. <laughs> Test flight's now done. Let's go back in the shop and build some more. One of the biggest difference that we took from the feedback that we got was, although people really liked the ability to configure their own airplane, there's a lot of waste here that we left because people would configure an airplane, they tape it together, in order for them to reconfigure it to go from maybe a pusher to a tractor style, they had to completely untape it, they had to save the pieces they had before, and then they had to be able to reassemble and retape. That was a lot of work, which meant people didn't really get the benefit from the whole design process. We quickly found out that I could actually take the same amount of material and just reconfigure a little bit different and give people two fuselages instead of one fuselage. One with the pusher and one with the tractor. Now this is going to make the fuselage much stronger, it's going to have less weight, and at the end of the day, that means you guys are going to have enough in your kit to build two flying tenants. One as a trainer, one as a support plane. So what I'm doing is on the pusher, I'm making a tricycle landing gear configuration that can push in with a removable landing gear. And then on the tractor, I'm gonna make it so it's a tail dragger. So not only are people learning how to fly different configurations, go from a trainer to an aerobatic airplane, but they can also learn the disciplines of a tricycle gear to a tail dragger. Again, we want this package to be able to go in the schools, but also go in people's lives, teach them how to fly, how to build, how to design. And if you want something that will be able to land on its belly, say in taller grass, you can simply pull the landing gear out. But when you have a nice smooth surface, you put the landing gear in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and test as a three channel. We wanna make sure that people can fly all these different versions as a three channel before they move on to four channel. And that way you can kind of grow with them. That means as little as two servos, you can be flying. It is windy. So one thing I noticed with the landing gear on it, it definitely has a much more stable presence with that lower center of gravity weight, which is really nice. We're also gonna do something very, very subtle as well. Um, and that is with the rudder. Uh, you're gonna notice that the rudder looks a little bit different and that's because I wanted to taper back the top part of the rudder to keep the uh, coupling, I guess you could say for lack of better words, uh, at a minimum. Here, no, I'll take it for a little, little buzz here. <laughs> and even with all that extra weight, vertical is not a problem. <laughs> all right, the maiden's done. I'm gonna build a sport room. We're gonna test it out. All right, so we're doing this uh, tenant design challenge, and basically I just took two of the sweatback wings, and I'm making a biplane. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm also doing the V-tail, so it's gonna be interesting. So basically all I'm gonna do is put my barbecue skewer through the top just like we do in the original plane. And I'm hoping I can kind of do the same thing in the bottom. I might have to cut the fuselage just a little bit so it kind of tucks up in real nice. But um, yeah, I'm getting the top one on and then we'll move on to the bottom and see what works the best. I've, I, I honestly don't know the best thing about biplanes or how they work the best, but I know it's also better to have the wing staggered too. Like the back or the bottom wing should be staggered back to get the best control. I'm not too sure exactly how that works. But. It's like a beachcraft stagger wing, which is clearly from the future. I love that. It's nuts looking. What do you do with all the extra swept back wings that no one wants to use? <laughs> okay, hopefully uh, it works. I like what you got here, bro. Thank you. It's like where I would normally hold this <laughs> is where there's a wing. Yeah, it's, it's a little awkward. <laughs> I, so where I would normally hold this thing, as you can see here, is a giant wing tank. No. Okay? So, and I can't hold it up here because that just doesn't work well. So I'm gonna have to hold it a little bit further back, and I think this is okay, right? Yeah. Give me, give me, plenty of power. give me a little, give me a little. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Ready? Which way is the wind coming? Straight down the pipe? Um, yeah, straight towards Noah. It looks like. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, no problem. Other than it is very, very breezy. Oh yeah, it's super windy. Holy cow, super windy. That looks great though. I'm afraid to turn out of the wind. <laughs> How'd she feel? Really good, actually. She looks fast. Yeah, downwind. I mean, definitely. downwind. <laughs> good work, Hold dude. A little bit of a bone. I need a hair trim. 
Quite a bit of trim. Quite a bit. I guess. Uh, quite a bit I guess we're a little uh, uh, nose heavy. That's all right. Hey, better nose heavy than uh, tail heavy, they say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it flies really nice, actually. It, it looks really good. I, and it, the presence, when it comes down and you get closer, looks really cool because it's got those two wings and uh, it just it feels a little more robust, you know what I mean? And I like the sweat bag, like the V of the sweat bag wing. That's sick. And that's one of the cool things about the Tenet. You can, you can take the airframe and design around it. Do what you want with it. Yeah. We kind of made it that way. Perfect. Great for STEM education. All right. Great for all things fun and enjoyable. <laughs> Put it down into the wind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, beautiful. Right down on the runway. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring it around and land it this time. Bring her on in. You got what you need, Noah? Bring it on in to Almaville. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoops. Yeah! <laughs> well done, dude. Awesome. Great work, homie. Thanks for the That's launch. Awesome. Oh, of course. Boom, baby. So you guys saw in the opening in a pretty dramatic way, we are definitely working with a brand new phone. This is no longer our classic one pound density EPS phone. It's a formula basically that I can't really even describe, but basically we give you the ability of having the strength of three pound density EPP with the lightweight nature that's much closer to one pound density EPS. This means you have an airframe that you no longer have to tape to give it its strength. You can actually use instant glue on and you can spray paint it. We're not only gonna be using this material with the 10 designs and 10 light designs moving in the future, but we're also gonna start designing different things like wings and stuff around it, using our hot wire cutter machines for you guys to be able to build and making DIY material blocks for you guys to be able to buy and build your own plants with as well. So I'm working on a fancy little paint scheme here and I'm gonna change up the colors. This is the paint scheme I'm kinda of going for, but we're gonna see where it goes with it. So everywhere I'm masking off now is gonna stay white and then I'll probably hit it with gray or whatever color I'm using and then mask the gray off where I want to keep it and then hit it with some pink, green, purple, blue, I don't know yet. So it's coming, but something new and something different. So as you guys can see, we are finishing up the final touches on the new tenant to be able to take it out. And as we mentioned before about the vision, mainly of the tenant and also what Flecta stands for is we love getting people in the hobby. We love getting them building and also with things like the tenant, we love getting them designing. This is incredibly important to us and for the future of aviation to be able to go into schools, go into people's backyards, and be able to be enjoyed freely so it can benefit people's lives. Now, unfortunately, there are some laws that have been passed in the last couple of years that have made this tremendously difficult to enjoy and to get into. We need your help in a big way to get your voice heard to participate in the FAA reauthorization by simply clicking down in the link below. You're going to see two links. One's for a video explaining what I'm talking about even more. And the other link is a letter that you can send to your congressional representatives, both in the Senate and in the House. We have a one in a five year opportunity to raise the limits of weights from 250 grams all the way up to one kilogram. This would be a tremendously positive impact for the hobby, getting people on the flight, and also for schools. So please take a moment, go down to that description, click on that video, watch it, and then click on that second link to participate in helping us change the hobby and also protect it. The guys are wrapping up, getting their airplanes ready to fly. We're gonna go out and have some fun. All right guys, we are all done with our tenant designs here. As you can see, we are testing out different designs, not just the ones that you can build stock, but, but also the ones you can design your own. Uh, now's the time to fly them and have some fun. Yeah, let's uh, get some controllers and have, have at it. See what happens. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, you gonna launch me, Josh? Dave built the first ever tenant biplane and it is awesome. <laughs> are you ready, Dave? <laughs> I'll launch yep. you first. Ready? Here you go. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> let's all have a power pack kick. Uh, all right, here I go. All right. Ready, here we go. Nice, yes. Stefan. You ready, Stefan? So I've got the uh, 3D printed uh, black and white version here. Yes, you do. Looks super dope. Yeah, and we got some wind today, unfortunately. Yeah. If you're new to the hobby, don't don't uh, don't fly in windy weather. But yeah. this is the best we got in Ohio in the winter. <laughs> yeah, so. but I don't know. It's like probably 50 yeah. 20 miles an hour. It's, it's a little bumpy, but wow. It is. This is this is great. I love flying with you guys. It is awesome. Well, what I like about the whole idea of the version two uh, duo is now you're actually getting two airframes. You know, no more waste, no more picking a configuration and saying, I, I really don't want to have to, you know, build another one. Oh, I guess I need to pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> I, I can move a little slower than you guys. <laughs> well, you have twice as much drag, so. Yeah, it's true. I'm like right in the middle. Yeah, I don't think there could be three more mismatched airframes. <laughs> yeah, I actually, it's hilarious. All right. Oh, you know, we, I'm going to do a little touch and go. Yeah, oh, I wish we didn't have this. It. We're at Adam's Ready Board Runway. We have just terrible turbulent wind. I can't really do a touch and go, but I'll do a low pass. 
I like not having to tape the fuselage. <laughs> yeah, this this new foam is incredible. Yeah, we haven't even named it yet. So you guys need to help us with a cool name. Uh, we just been struggling with it. And it's like, why put a release back trying to name foam when we can actually just, you know, put it out there. <laughs> Something happened in my gear, yeah. Oh yeah, look at That's that. Better. <laughs> Always winning is a win. <laughs> All right, so we got a special challenge here. Michael made his own special version. I'm still telling him that the balanced version of the Tenet can perform the same things that he can with his crazy version. But what he doesn't know is I put a little extra tweaking in the aura board to give me the upper edge. <laughs> That's good. Good job. Um, to oh. I think we need to have a low inverted competition. Oh, I like that. Woo! You're up, Mike. Oh, oh. no! Oh. Did he touch it? Yeah. He touched it. Son of a gun. He touched it, sir. Oh my gosh. All right, that goes to Mike. Knife edge time. <laughs> low knife edge? Low knife edge. All right, I'll go first. Are oh, you going that way? Yeah, I'm in the wind. I'm chicken. <laughs> Oh crap, I can't get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mikey just broke something. I did. <laughs> oh, good save. Oh. I saw it. I don't know it broke, but it You broke, broke your plane? Something. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna land and mock my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's help him pick up the pieces. Friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for going along with this journey, and also thank you for your feedback. Without your amazing feedback, there's no way we would be able to serve you as well, and also we wouldn't be where we are today without you. If you guys like this journey and you want to make it your own, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's in your home, or whether it's with your family and friends, the Tenant V2 Duo is now available in our stores. Feel free to pick one up, and we'll see you next time. You know, yeah. we're always talking about making memories together, whether it's friends or family. Whoop! Oh. Uh -oh. yes. Michael, I'm gonna get you! Get him! <laughs> he he said it's I on! He said, I don't like you. <laughs> All right, he wins.